Um, hi Heather, hi Miki. Um, let me know if you can hear me fine. Pretty please. Oh, excellent. Great. I'm just going to wait a few moments to um, maybe give <laughs> Heather is being, is being a funny one. <laughs> but yeah, just to give a few moments for people to see the notice and maybe come in before I start. Um, I wanted to try to do this kind of um, uh, live unboxing so that I can give more of my live impressions of a product when I unpack it. And since they are not very long videos, well, I think it's suitable to the idea of live streaming it. So hi Lacey and Donna and Becky, welcome. How is everyone today? Here it's snowing a lot. And I mean a lot of snow, like easily six inches of snow. It's it's a bit um <laughs> it's a bit sad considering that it's March already, but it should melt pretty fast. Hey, hello, cat. It's a it's a weird kind of snow because not the snow itself, but it's snowing, but there's like no wind, so the snow just piles up on stuff, especially the trees. And then whenever there is a a movement or something you can see these big big clumps of snow that just fall and I'm a bit sad that I've got um, no one getting one on the head yet but I keep my fingers crossed <laughs> hello Cisco all right so I'll get started um, the item that I want to open today is this uh, watercolor, um, portable case for watercolor. Uh, as you can see from the packaging, this is an item that comes from Japan. It is made by the Design Mind Company, but I've seen it um, advertised as being from Lihit Lab on Amazon. And I stumbled upon it pretty randomly and I was really curious about it. So um, I thought I could use some of my um, slim earnings that I've accumulated to uh, purchase the small box and see what it's all about. Because um, if you can tell from the packaging, this is kind of promising. Like you would have this box that contains a water container, um, a palette with a lid and a tray for the tools. So that's kind of pretty great. Um, yeah, so I can't really tell you what this is all about because um, I don't read uh, Japanese really. The only thing I can read in there is that the website they give is from uh, is Lihit Lab's website, so I guess this is pretty pretty legit from Lihit Lab. But um, yeah, and it's made in Vietnam, so that's that's about it. So I'll open it. Yeah, it's a mysterious box. It wasn't very expensive. Um, it was maybe, what, $30 for the small one, which I don't think is that bad when you look at some of the palettes available out there. Like, um, the Schminke tins are super expensive for 
no real reason to be honest so all right this is the box this is empty so there is no fuss with the packaging you open the box and everything is in there so the exterior of the box is um, transparent it's a bit yellow Hopefully it's filled with art supplies and not spiders. Yes! <laughs> that would not end well if it was spider in there. So, okay. This box, um, you can see... Well, maybe you can see. This um, edge is kind of uh, sturdier plastic, but this, this is uh, thin and flexible. Right, so... Um, we have... One compartment here, we have this one, and this one, and this one. There's a texture in the plastic at the bottom with all these little um, dots in it. It's kind of holes, but they don't go all the way through, so yeah. The bottom, this part is sturdier than the cover. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit like um, an old video cassette box, except they never really made it this, this big. <laughs> Alright, so just put this aside for a second and see what we got here. This is um, um, like rigid plastic. It's... Um, what is it not like? It's, it's reminiscent of the plastic you would get in a regular plastic palette. Like, uh, let's say I look at this, this flower one and I have like these plastic palette. It is not the thickest plastic, but um, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's a watercolor bento, well said. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You can uh, secure these in this tray. So you have two water containers like this and a tray which is made to uh, embed itself in the palette because you can see that this is pretty flush so this part has a kind of a rim and this one has a, a space to insert it in so it feels like it would be pretty secure like I can move this around and it doesn't budge at all. Okay, so quick recap. We are looking at a mystery palette box from Amazon that is technically from Japan. Just quickly, so this is the box. It's supposed to be like this bigger box that you can put all the accessories in there. Like you have a space to put your brushes and you have a palette with a lid and you have water containers and it all fits in this easy to carry box so <laughs> someone says that uh, calamity jet says it looks a bit like portable painter on steroids kind of kind of except that you have you have a lot of space in there um how many spaces are in this 18. That, that's nice. And there are nice wells. They are slanted and they are big, so you can easily fit the brush in there. And you have these spaces from either like some extra colors are mixing, and you have the lid for mixing as well. And I guess you could use this for mixing if you need more space. Um, this is the small box. I think there was a bigger model as well with a bit more space for stuff in it and a bigger pal palette. But um, at the moment uh, I decided to <laughs> try the small one first, see if it's uh, worth the investment of getting the larger one eventually. The palette closes really well. It's um, it, You can see the hinges are, are reinforced with a metal rod which is really nice. So yeah, it's um, it's stiff plastic. 
and well again you can't really carry like regular brushes in there because they would like keep on smashing beep beep at the top but if you have um, travel brushes I guess they would fit in there let's see so um, if you have any questions or if you want me to um, test out things with this palette feel free to ask them in the um, in the chat I'm just gonna wet this brush tip before I put it in the uh, in this so I don't squish airs so would this still fit in there yeah okay it's rattling around Course, but you could have like um, like paper towels that you squeeze in there and you can put this on top and it, it looks like it's you know it's not that bad I'm, I'm catching up on the chat. Hi, everyone who just came in. Yeah, you could you could also use um, poster tack. Um, let me found, find some poster tack. I always have some around except when I need it. can't find any poster tag. Well, you could you could just put it in there. Come on. This is ridiculous. Oh well. No no poster tag to be found. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ta-da. Okay, it's a tiny bit. You could probably put more to be more secure with this. Yeah, you could squish. Seems seems it would hold really well. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's made by it's made by Lihit Lab, but it's. The most obvious branding on the packaging is the Design Mind Company. I will put link um, links to the um, to the item when I'm finished with the video. If you want to go check it out. Um, yeah, it's a mystery because I had never seen those before, and I can't really read what the claims on the packaging are. So. <laughs> It looked great, so I figured I would try it, but I had no um, no way of knowing if it was like any anything I could I could I could know beforehand if it would be good. Yeah, um, yeah. Like I said, this is a, a bit. Uh, unplanned and impromptu so I could I could use my phone and Google Translate to try and figure out what it says on the packaging but it should be pretty straightforward in itself like I should be able to <laughs> use it without referring to the box and yeah basically I can put everything back in there I guess you could um, add like paper towels to carry in these and you remove them when you want to paint and you could put erasers or something in there as well. <laughs> I will send the, uh, 
pictures of the packaging to um, Otto so she can uh, take a look at it for me. <laughs> so yeah, do you guys have any questions regarding this um, item? The clip is really secure and it's this part is really sturdy plastic. It's, you know, it, it, um, it has a lid that, that secures into place the cover to the back. So when you clip it, it's definitely not going to open by itself. It's pretty lightweight. And I like that you can fit it 18 colors in big wells. So yeah, pretty cool, right? I guess the next step would be to um, figure out which paints I want to put in there and carry it around. But it's it's the size of um, a book, you know. It's it's kind of easy to carry, and it um, it uh, manages almost all the supplies you need to paint. You have the water containers. You have room to add paper towels or rags, and there is room for brushes and pencils at the bottom here in the tray. So you can easily have this and bring it everyone. And since it's plastic, um, I think it's it's gonna be a bit um, friendlier if you have like um, if you bring it say for a picnic or say something would spill. It's kind of easier to wash than if it was um, fabric and it won't rust since it's plastic. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in it. I'm tem tempted to wait <laughs> until I have a good um, 18 colors uh, set to put in there. And if you can see the bottom, it's a contained space. Like um, even if there is this back, like a book, this whole thing is contained. So these they won't. They can't just, you know, pop away. They, they will. They are fairly well contained in there. So maybe the last test that would be interesting to see is to check if these bead, if the paint beads on the plastic. So um, let's see. I'm gonna grab a water brush quickly to test this and paints just as quickly. Here, I grabbed the first one I saw, which are my um, few Olbein paints, um, Olbein pans. So in there I have a kind of a stainy blue and uh, an ultramarine, so I'm gonna test these both, or the very stainy phthalo green. It's um, it's not exactly beading, but it's not exactly not beading. So I figure with a bit of use, it's gonna get better. I think it's already starting to be better. See, that's not bad. It's transparent, so it's a bit harder to see the mix, but it doesn't like become one large bead of plastic. Okay, uh, this red. This is the small water brush, so it's not quite ideal. But yeah, I think this is pretty good. What do you guys think? I think a bit of, um, you know, uh, uh, just with a bit of use, these are gonna be pretty great. And yeah, you can always put a bit of um, 
a sheet of white paper. Like this. And then you would see all your mixes properly. Yeah, so final test with the colors. I'm just gonna um, clean them up to check if something has stained and how bad. I think here the blue has stained a bit. Yeah, but it's very minor and I don't, I don't remember if it's phthalo blue or um, um, Prussian blue. Phthalo blue is definitely more of a staining color. The red has stained the plastic. I personally don't mind, like stained plastic really doesn't bother me at all, so no biggie. But yeah, I guess when it's dry you could come with um, a polymer eraser and clean it up. Um, polymer eraser. So this is a mono eraser, but in in this format, instead of a... Um, yeah, cleans right off. So pretty good, pretty good. All right, so far so good. I am um, very happy with this. I think it's gonna do great. I can even remove some of the staining with the um, leftover eraser and my fingers. So it's really not that bad. Good palette, sturdy, lightweight. Good box, same, same, same deal. You have this tray for the extras. I think you could possibly fit, fit um, a small tube of color in there. Say if you want to bring in some white paint and you prefer to use it in a tube, uh, would it fit? Perhaps if you make it more <laughs> towards the middle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's in there. So yeah, the middle has a bit more room because that's where you have these lens. So these area here, they cover, you can go uh, over the um, the edge of the, the tray and it's gonna be fun. I don't travel with my paints a lot, but um, I like that this set is something that you can quickly put together if say I want to go paint to a friend's place I can just you know if there are already paints in there I can just pop in some brushes and pencils and erasers and and well they're gonna have water there so I'm fine and I got my tray and it's you know just a couple of paper towels and you're good to go you just put this and you can put it in your bag and yeah it's all in there great all right, so that's pretty much it. Unless you have more c uh, questions. Would a kneadable eraser work on cleaning the palette too? Let's see. rubber eraser. I don't like to use magic erasers because they are abrasive. Abrasive? Yeah. Well, it's a bit sticky. I think you're better off with a simple white eraser like the cheap kind you would have anywhere. Because um, the uh, knitable one leaves kind of a um, attack residue. If can you see that? I don't know if it shows on on the camera, but there's kind of a residue over here. And I'm just printing it around with the other eraser. So yeah, that's gonna be something else to clean up. <laughs> Um, 
I'm checking for questions. Question. A bit random, but what do you think about the Holbein 6 set? Is it enough for a travel kit? It's pretty good. I think the only thing it's missing is something like um, a cool blue. I think I did a review of this, this cool six, um, this Holbein 6 color set. I quite like Holbein, so um, I'm kind of biased, I guess, but uh, yeah, you have uh, two reds. Uh, what is it? There is a green, a yellow, a brown, two reds, and what else? Yeah, so um, maybe not the needable eraser as it kind of messes up the plastic, but um, yeah, anything else is going to be good. All right, well, I'm going to be working on removing these, uh, <laughs> the needable eraser um, patch in there. But aside from that, pretty good to go. Is there anything else? Not really? All right, so um, I do recommend this set. It's quite nice. Um, yeah, and it's lightweight, it's plastic, seems sturdy not too expensive and you know it's kind of decent you know you have a lot of room you have a lot of tools space and it's easy to carry so it's a good one yeah I'm trying to this is a an alcohol swab that's what I'm trying to see if I can remove the um, the thingy but it's not quite gone so I will keep uh, testing simple th stuff on it to remove it I don't like chemicals or abrasives so I'm just gonna use what I have around and see if something works yeah okay so um, thank you very much for showing up for this super spontaneous thing and uh, let me know if you end up getting this palette what you think about it and I'm gonna put links in the description box, so um, if you feel like using my links, uh, I can have a, a couple of cents to perhaps procure more weird, obscure stuff on Amazon. So yeah, thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye bye.